Hey everyone, Pine Nation here, and welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. In the last episode, uh, we went to the island again and did some bug catching. We celebrated the completion of our cobblestone bridge, and we we got fat stacks. On in this episode, sorry. Um. Ooh, oh. 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 We're, we're pretty well loved today. Yeah. Uh, so today, what have we got? From Red's Gallery. We just want the present. What's this one? And these are the things we ordered from the campground, which we will sort out later. From Lily, let's see. To my favorite Mason, how are you? I wanted to write you back right away. Reading your letter led me to consider many new ideas. We shouldn't talk about them anyway. Uh, we should <laughs> talk about them. Anyway, enough from me. Lily. Alright, uh, let's see. Croc. Hey, I'm Mason. Uh, thanks for the letter. I really needed that today. I make a habit of reading the that letter you sent me each and every night before bed. It's only been one night. Next time, come hang out. Croc. Alright. From Rowan. Oh, it's the Chad Tiger, guys. To a fitness master. <clears throat> Your welcome uh, package just arrived. Uh, I wasn't expecting it at all. Do you like surprises? We're gonna be uh, great friendly rivals if you do. Looking forward to it. Yeah, just trying to sort out my monitor quickly. Alright. So he gave us a present too, which we're gonna have to put out. To hardworking Mason. I thought there was an angel in my mailbox. Thank you. They uh, say that writing is the window to one's soul, so I must have seen your uh, pain. Oh, he knows already. Uh, will you send another letter? Maybe, dude, maybe. Alright. So we need to actually go sell our beetles before it's too late. I don't think we're going to go to the island today. But Oh, we got another pink rose. Awesome. Um, yeah, I don't think we want to go to the island today. We're going to be rich as is. Um, but tomorrow we might. What's up with this game? It's just having random speed spikes. I haven't had this many before. Alright, so we're just going to sell our needles. Boop, 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 boop. Boop and boop. Sixty thousand bills just for that, holy crap. Yeah, we're gonna be a uh, rich as hell, alright. Oh man. We're gonna start doing some upgrading. First of all, let's put on some music. Hell yeah. Um, okay, so we want our money. Boom. 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 <clears throat> Present. Boop. Uh, yeah, we'll do, um, we'll do the inside of our place in a sec. I'm just gonna put this away, just for now. Boop. Whoops, I said boop. Boop. And we want to go boop. Alright, let's get going. I know I started my stream pretty late today, just being pretty busy. Lots of things going on, but um, I'm so glad to see you here today, and I hope you're doing really well. Alright, so we're going to put down our pink cosmos. 
And I'm going to try something interesting here. So we're going to put our Cosmos going off to the right. But on the left side, I'm going to have the, the Cosmos also crossbreeding with the Roses. And we're going to go like this. This way, we should get more pink um, flowers. And hopefully, uh, it should work out pretty well. We'll come back and water them in a sec, though. Why don't we go ahead and talk about uh, upgrading our house? Because we can pay off our loan in full, because we are rich right now. Seriously, just two trips to the, the island and we are rich, boys. Alright. Yeah, it's kind of 11.08 p.m. I am so sorry, I... Honestly, I knew I, my math was correct. Oh, it was five hundred thousand. I was correct. But yeah, um, I'm sorry for starting so late. Just trying my hardest to try and at least do it once a day, and I didn't want to skip today. I really wanted to uh, stream today for everyone. Oh boy. <clears throat> also, I forgot to change the name of the stream. I can't be bothered changing the name now. Alrighty. So let's see what he's got for house designs. Yeah, no, we've paid back our home loan. Thanks for acknowledging it. Fan that door, not a fan that fence. Oh, hey, that's the same uh, exterior that uh, Marshall has. Not sure if I like it for that design on the house, though. That's an interesting design for the roof. Nah, um, I don't think those tiles there are worth um, not upgrading today. Also, just wanted to let you guys know, too, this, uh, this little uh, box of wood up here. Is actually a Japanese game called Go. Um, it's actually a really fun game. Um, the objective is it's pretty much like chess, but the objective is to surround your enemies to capture t uh, territory. It's really fun. I uh, want to expand. I believe your home would be so cozy if you had a second floor. Uh, a smallish loan of 298,000 bills. Ha! <laughs> we can pay it off right now! Yeah, sure, let's do it. And we haven't even hit the money rock yet today. Literally, we've, we've only been streaming for 12 minutes, so, yeah. Thing is, though, is that we can't... I wish they would let you pay for your uh, home stuff in advance. That'd be nice. Wait, he is working on our home, right? I didn't check that. Today's day seven. We might be getting a certain... Okay. Interesting. Amazing machine, a fine item. Yes, it's not really fine, isn't it? Looks kind of uh, trashy. Looks more like a generator than anything. Alright, what about this rocket here? Space shuttle item. Two thousand. Only two thousand. How's it? I swear, if you got a space shuttle model about that size in real life, it would be worth quite a bit. How's it worth less than that machinery? I mean, just buying Gundams is damn expensive. Imagine that, but for a space shuttle that size with that detail, I don't know. Anyways, let's actually remember to eat our fortune cookie today. I'm thinking of keeping that machine though. Uh, he who stab, stubs his toe is he who remembers his feet are there. That is uh, uh, really stupid. Okay. Got a lucky ticket I'm pretty sure. Hell yeah. 
How are you doing anyways, Air Apocalypse? Hopefully you're doing pretty well. Okay, fortune number six. We got an ebony piano, hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah, that makes me really happy! Oh! Sadly, it's not a baby grand piano, but... Oh, is it? Is the ebony a baby grand? Or is it just an upright? We'll find out. Anyways, we have a new store here on Main Street. Let us go check it out. This is Leaf. Welcome. Oh, a first timer. Welcome, I sell flowers here. Nice, beautiful flowers. Yes, indeed. I also have saplings, tools, and many more things. So please uh, do take your time and have a look around. So yeah, this is where you can buy yourself um, either an axe or a, um, whatchamacallit, uh, that thing there, that whatever that's called, watering can. However, we're going to be buying, first of all, a cedar sapling. Yes, we're going to take the cedar sapling. Thank you. Uh, then we're going to take a yellow violet. Hell yes. And then we're going to take a red rose, even though we have six billion of them. More the merrier. And uh, just letting you know, buying these items here is going to be a part of our daily uh, routine now. So um, I'm going to be cutting the store out um, until we get the axe. But uh, yes, uh, just assume I am always buying things here every day. Alright, Able Sisters. Oh man, our town tune is horrible. Um, I do appreciate you coming in so often, but I've just got a ton of work to do. I'm very sorry. Huh. She's talking to us now. What's this? Some relay shorts. Nah. But, we are going to take this, because this is a part of our superhero costume that we have. Yeah, it's a bit more expensive compared to the other things. Um... Hmm... I don't... Yeah, fine. Okay, we'll buy this. I don't mind it. It's not... I don't like the colors, but it's not really that bad, I guess. Oh, 420, we have to buy it. Oh, 420. Get out of here, Croc. Uh, we, we, ha we have to talk to you. Marshall, I know, he's too adorable. I love him way too much. He's great. That's not the new villager. That's another villager that has his own problems. And I see that fossil back there. But you know, I love Marshall. Oh, he's so great. I definitely have a bias towards Marshall, I'm just going to say that. Oh, do you live in this town? Nice to meet you. My name's Agnes. And you are... Mason? THE Mason? You're like the new heart and soul of this town, from what I've heard. They haven't unpacked or anything yet, so I don't have any kind of let's be buddies gift for you. <laughs> but let's be buddies anyway. You should come by again once I've settled in a bit. I... Hmm. This is a nice looking wallpaper on the floor. You know what? I think we might get along. I haven't met you before, Agnes, but I think you might be a nice villager. Welcome to the town. Alright. Oof, that lag. I'm sorry, team. 
Okay, so... We need one more fossil. Great. Oh, where the hell would that be? I keep forgetting they can also spawn in the tree lines, huh? Big oof. Hey, Croc's back from uh, Main Street. Oh, by the way, Marshall, we need to talk because I saw you on screen. You're too cute. Let's talk. So, Mason, I heard you may have uh, in your position an amazing machine, true? Oh, why did you have to take... Why couldn't you have gone for the space shuttle? I actually wanted to use the amazing machine! Oh, I think so. Uh, yeah, so the rumor is true. Well, what if I were to offer you a sum of 1,080 bills for your item? Why do you have to be too damn cute? Take it, you cute beast! I wanted it, but too cute! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm not sure why I want your amazing machine so much. Maybe I just like all the this drama. <laughs> God damn it, Marshall. Why do you have to be so cute? And maybe we can figure something out for the third bridge. Maybe help the villagers off to the right-hand side of our town there. Alright, so... Before we do anything else, I'm going to uh, assume uh, Crunston won't steal our money. I swear if it's anyone, it's going to be Crunston. And we're going to uh, put it all on the ground here. Now, we're not going to the island to actually get money this time because we're too filthy rich. Um, we have too much money. So... Instead, we are going to, um, we are going to the island for a different reason this time. <clears throat> What's here? Oh, pirate hat today, and the cane chair. <clears throat> Instead, today we're gonna do something else. We're gonna do some tours. Uh, we're gonna go for... Scavenger tour, I think. Okay, so for explaining the tours. These are the mini games of the game. This is where you can go with your friends and uh, do little challenges. Uh, I can't remember exactly what the scavenging thing is. I think it's, uh, you'll be told... Um, what items to pick up and you have to bring them back before the time ends and these different games like hide and seek diving uh games and so on and so forth and uh you, you compete for medals person who gets first place gets the most medals you can spend medals at the store on the island but we're actually not here to do the games as to say we're actually here to cheat a bit Instead of um, doing the mini game, we're going to grab flowers and all the flowers we can find. <clears throat> so we can actually uh, uh, do some more breeding and so on and so forth. So we're just going to go around, grab everything. So if I remember correctly, it should work the way I think it does.
We're also going to grab ourselves some more fruit. Uh, because this is probably the best way we're going to be able to uh, get um, new things in our town because we can't do online. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Well, we can do online, but we need other people with an emulator. Okay, we're full. We only really need one there during it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But what we're gonna do... Uh, we're also going to put out of there. We're gonna put that on the ground. Can we, uh, okay, we can't. So let's put that there. Alright, so now we're going to be looking for things that are rare. Because... Ooh, do we have yellow roses yet? Uh, I don't know. I'll swap it out for a red rose. If I can't find anything else. Um, I'm not seeing anything new. Hmm. Yellow tulips. More red roses. Alright, we'll grab these. <clears throat> and now we just have to uh, wait for the timer to run out. I'm pretty sure it's as simple as that. Did it work? Okay, doesn't work with furniture, just as I thought. Only works with the flowers and fruit. I was going to say, that would be too easy if you could do that. Um... Like, you can just get whatever you want with whatever so happened to be in those houses. But yeah, we're not after money this time. We're just after uh, putting stuff into our town itself. So let's go ahead and do that, what, two more times? Oh no. Please, game, don't... Don't tell me what I think I'm thinking. <gasps> oh, we got it! Okay, we got it. Okay, whoo! That scared the living crap out of me, dude. All right, let's go ahead and donate this uh, painting. Celeste, yeah, and plus Celeste is adorable as flip, dude. Like, holy crap! I put her at like rank three for most adorable character in Animal Crossing. Number two would have to be Peanut, and number one would have to be uh, Marshall. I'm sorry, that's my list. I don't care if you guys hate on me for it. That's what I think. Uh, what is the hang on? What is that one? Fireflower. Yeah, sure, I guess. Billiard table, Wii U console, 3DS, Science table, modern table. Ebony piano and this. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll do some customizing of our house quickly. So we want to put it in. Boom! That looks nice. I like that. Yeah, I think that looks quite cool. Kind of cozy too. Only if we could put like a rug in the middle and then put a coffee table on the rug and put a couch in and then put a TV up here. Then we can put our Wii U console down here. Where's our Wii U console? Boop, boop, boop. Ah! Uh, he used to be so much more uh, excitable and fun. Okay, I can't deny that. They did dumb him down a bit. But I still love him. I, I just hope they actually bring back... 
You know what I really want? Okay, this is what we really should have in Hot Boy Animal Crossing. You know how the villagers all have different personality types? I want them to really play to the advantage of those um, personality types. Like, it feels like all of the animals are sometimes just the same. Like, they all are genuinely nice. That's why I like Croc in my town, because he actually offers a little bit difference. But even Croc is still nice at the end of the day. Um, and I really want them to, like, for, like, Croc, right? Imagine if you turned into a real jerk and you had to really work hard to make him a nice person to be around. That would be really cool. Um, kind of like Persona in a way, I guess. Like, where, like, you have to, like, rank up your uh, friendship with them and the more you rank them up, the more uh, nicer they'll be to you. I agree with you there. Like, even the mean ones are nice. Yeah, like, I want there to be different types of person personalities like sure if you go on the wiki if you go into the game's code and stuff like that there is different personalities as a typage but they all kind of melt and blend into each other they all still have not they're all still pretty nice yeah like the cranky ones are sweethearts why <laughs> or, or have backstories maybe he's a jerk because of something that happened yes like they've already done that with the sable sisters which by the way um spoiler alert once we uh get um Sable to fully open up to us. I will be going over the backstory of the Able Sisters, so I will be going over that. Don't worry. Um, but uh, yeah, if we could have more backstories, like if we could have the reason why Croc's a jerk, or the reason why, um, let's say, who's like a really like real sweetheart i think peanut no i know no biscuit definitely is like what, what if biscuit is like a real sweetheart because maybe she had someone abandon her as a kid or something like that and she's trying her hardest to um make friends and to keep them like having backstories could really grab you and get you really attached to them and each time you rank them up you get to hear more of their backstory but with that said that means if every time you rank them up, they give a backstory, it has to be hard to ba uh, to rank them up. You can't because the problem is, is if they're easy to rank up, you're gonna hit max rank within like a week, and people will grind it. I know a lot of people will grind it, but if they make it hard for you to rank up your animals and to learn their whole story, then you're gonna be playing the game for a whole of a he heap longer. You you will be on your first town a whole heap of uh, longer. You won't be uh, making a second town anytime soon. Unless you like to play two towns at the same time. And um, like imagine right. You're a good half a year to a year into your town. And you're still learning something new about your villages. That would be the coolest thing. I like that. Or that cute white mouse. <laughs> So kind of like, yeah, kind of like Stardew. So I think like Stardew and Persona uh, 3, 4, and 5, right? So like in Persona, right, you have to hang out with your um, social links at a certain time. And when you rank them up, you do a, a story sequence where you learn more about that character on each rank up. And the thing is, is people will be like, but uh, Animal Crossing doesn't have the ranking up with characters. But it does, and I know Pocket um, Fest or Pocket Camp, yeah, Pocket Camp, that's it. I know Pocket Camp is a spin-off and all that other stuff, but that's a really good system. Imagine if they could do that where it's the Pocket Camp leveling system, but it's really hard to level up your, your villages. At, when you do level them up, you'll, get, you'll be greeted with a very um, special cutscene about that character, and you get to learn about them a whole heap more. They each have a goal according to the wiki and a skill, but except for April Fool's Day, these go uh, pretty much ignored, honestly. Other than the festivals, I never really thought they had goals or anything like that. Like, every time I've had an animal, they've always felt the same, so every time I rank an animal, it's just purely based on how cute they are. It's not actually- I don't- I I've never noticed any, like, um, any- 
goals any story driven things i don't know their backstory i don't know why they they're in this town to begin with and i don't know why they wanted to move to this town or anything like that and i feel like if they had that it's gonna hook me like it's gonna grab my heart and i'm gonna be like oh man marshall you're super cute and you had that happen to you i'm sorry my dude you are top tier s tier gotta put marshall and smash brothers marshall and smash brothers is confirmed uh, let's see, um, but not like Stardew, I don't like it being you give me uh, a gift, then I open up. No, th like that's why I say more like uh, Persona, where you hang out with them, you give them gifts, sure, but uh, hanging out with them, doing jobs for them, going over to their house, um, that kind of stuff, being a friend to them in general will rank them up, but it can't be easy. I, I don't want the rank up to be easy. I want to have a reason to keep playing this game on the same city, on the same town, throughout the whole year, throughout two years, three years, however long it takes me to rank them all up. I want to learn more about my village and I want it to take time because there's a lot of downtime in Animal Crossing. Other than festivals and fishing tourneys and uh, vi visiting villages, Sometimes there's a, like a good four days in a row where you're not really doing anything. And um, it's I, they could easily give you something to do in those downtimes. And that would be hanging out with your villagers, learning more about them. Because I mean, the Able Sisters have a backstory. So why not give it to the other villagers too? I don't know, it's just some spitballing. Some ideas that I thought would be cool. It probably won't be in, don't, don't expect that to be in a uh, Hot Boy Animal Crossing. As much as it will be great, if you expect it, you're going to be let down because this is just theory crafting, we're just spitballing, we aren't developers, I don't have any connections to any developers, so I, the thing is, is that none of this will probably happen, so don't get your hopes up. Okay, so what have we got? So Fireflower, where can we put you actually I don't really know where we can put the fire flower we can put it over here I guess under the window nah I, I think we'll we'll put that back in storage 3DS, give me a sec on that one. Piano. <gasps> it is a grand piano. Okay, it's a grand piano. I am extremely happy we got this then. Alright. Boop. 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 Where's our piano? I want to get a piano in real life. I really do. I think having a grand piano would be amazing. Even if it's a baby grand piano. I really want one. Too late. If there isn't, then I might die of underwhelming. Oh no, I'm sorry, Chronix. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Okay, Chronix, I get you know what? I'll I'll make it I'll make it worse. Here's an idea that I've been wanting for a while. Okay. Close your eyes for me and imagine this. You have just got yourself a wetsuit in Animal Crossing for the Nintendo Switch. You put on your wetsuit back in your village and you're swimming in the ocean. You then get close to a cliffside that is connecting to your village and you dive down to find a underground passage to a um, or an underwater passage to a small cave that was sitting underneath your, your town the whole time. As you walk back up out of the water, there's an air pocket in this cave and there's a little campfire in the middle of the cave that you can light up. There's a couple of seats for you and your friends to sit down. And uh, just to have some alone time, there's 
You can uh, put on music in the background with a cassette tape or a MP4 or, or even a cell phone. Who cares? Okay, something, right? You can put music on in the background or something like that. It is the crackling of the campfire. One of your friends has an emote in the, uh, of a, an acoustic guitar. So he pulls out his guitar and he's strumming away um, at the, uh, the sound of the crackling fire. Meantime, you're looking at the bioluminous moss and bioluminous fungus throughout the whole cave. And when you look up at the top of the cave, all the glowworms look like stars and star constellations. Imagine putting that in Animal Crossing, Hot Boy Animal Crossing. I want that, okay? I want that so badly. I think that's the coolest idea ever. Like, I absolutely love the idea of exploration and finding secrets in games. And it's not like Animal Crossing hasn't done this before. City Folk had a secret area and stuff like that. Um, even um, Animal Forest had a secret area. And it, like, holy crap. I want that so badly because you would feel so satisfied that you found that. And it would be the coolest thing ever. And then when you do find, you can show your friends that you can bring your friends in and you can be have a chill time in there and stuff like that, and, oh, I think it would be so cool, and who knows, they could even put a little side, like, story in there, like, something about the aliens, because there's always aliens in every Animal Crossing, why not incorporate this bioluminous cave to the aliens somehow, that would be great, but I wish you could have a job, like, maybe run the shop, or, for Nook, uh, nah, we've already done Nook's job before in previous man Animal Crossings, I'd say get different jobs, like, we got working for Brewster, um, but what if we could be either like a paper boy, or what about, um, if we could work for the retail people, or, um, if you can work as a carpenter in the retail place, or if you could work, um, with Kix being a shoemaker, or a shoe shiner, or something like that, um, maybe when you work for Brewster, you don't just serve coffee, but curries, and, um, dinners and stuff as well, and you have to do like a little mini game to make them all work. Or even your own business, yes, your own business would be dope. Like, because what if you want to be like a CEO or something, and like, um, so like there'll be an empty plot out on Main Street, um, and you can like build a little uh business there, and you could um name it whatever you want, and you will get like a item that looks like a box right and you can draw on this box right with the touch screen and you can uh sell whatever you think is in that box like for me i would sell gunpla i'll sell gundams oh crap that would be cool selling gundams in animal crossing whoo i'd love that um or even work for the able sisters yes that would be dope uh, I don't mean doing Nook's errands, maybe like run it and sell people stuff and whatnot. I don't know, like, Nook's never really been one of my favorite characters, so me personally, I don't think I'd ever touch that side of it. Uh, I'm not saying don't put it in, definitely put it in, because more options the better, because um, I'm all about having heaps of options. I don't have to do that option if I don't want to, but um, just... I don't think I would do that side as Nook's not really my favorite character and playing um, City Folk and Animal Crossing on the GameCube, um, you get quite tired of it. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was wondering if they would implement a crafting system in the new one like uh, Portia, but maybe simpler? Portia. I, that's not ringing a bell, sorry. I'm really stupid sometimes. Um, let's see. Hmm, what else have we got in our inventory? Minimalist mini table. What does that look like? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Fine, we'll put it over here. And we'll put the 3DS on it. Um, 
What else have we got in here? Fire flower, we're gonna put it back away. Superstar. We'll put the superstar. Yeah. I'm waiting on getting a couch and a table for the middle. That would be real cool. Uh, so for now, we'll just put this in here. Okay, cool. Uh, so we'll put that in there. And we'll put that in there. Alright, our place is looking different. I wouldn't say better. Um, I do like how they have the specific remarks when you place your house though i want a beach house however yeah imagine like um like if you put your house close to a cliff you would have like a cliff like house where you could have a balcony right that goes over the cliff that would be cool if you um if you could choose a maybe one of the i uh either default or one of the um, maps you get have a bigger beach, and if you put your house near or on the beach, it will turn in like you ha you can go for a beach house aesthetic, um, or you can stick to a classic aesthetic, or anything like that. But all in all, I think when it comes to exterior design, I want a front yard. I really do. Or if you could work for the real estate office and like implement Happy Home Designer into the real game eh, like happy home designer did some things that i like but i'm not a huge fan of the whole game so we got ourselves a uh grand piano so that's great i absolutely love pianos however i'm pretty sure if we go like this yes you can turn on the wii u console you want to play some desert escape not today We'll do that tomorrow, because that's uh, something very, very interesting, but we'll do that tomorrow. And yes, I know that was in um, another game. I can't remember if it was uh, Amiibo Festival or Happy Home Designer, but it was in another game. And I'm glad they actually... That's what they should do, is do things like this. Like, if they do implement some Happy Home Designer stuff, they could do something like this, where it's like a um, little mini game or something you could do. That would be dope. But today, we're going to look at the 3DS for tonight, and we can play Animal Crossing Puzzle League. Yeah, sure, why not? I won't play too much of this, um, but we do get to play this a bit. We'll do, I guess, story mode. Well, hello there, Mason. I suppose we're probably already met, but my memory isn't what it used to be. So just in case, I'm former mayor and current re uh, retiree tournament. Thing is, I've missed uh, being mayor a little bit. Not a lot, mind you. Just a little bit. That's why I'm here to play in the puzzle league. The winner of this thing is king of the hill, cream of the crop, almost kind of sort of like being mayor. And it doesn't change your mayoral status in Wynette one bit. How do you know my I'm from Wynette? So, uh... Don't worry about it, Sprout. I mean, how's he know we're from one one net if he's inside my 3DS? How am I in my 3DS, by the way? Um, now, by the way, this is Inception out the butt. Um, now let me school you a little bit on how this all works. Okay, I don't want to know how it all works. Okay. Okay, I'm telling you now, I'm horrible at this game. I'm only playing this to show it off to everyone. Mortimer. Look at that proud pose. <laughs> if you're a mayor, you should have more control over the town, just saying. I'm saying, yeah, you need to um, have more control over the town is great. Um, but I don't want to have control over the villagers, as to say. Um, I want the villagers to still have their own things. And with Happy Home Designer, you would design things for the villagers. And I didn't like that. I feel like the villagers have to be their own people as well. 
But when it comes to the city itself and comes to the town itself, yes, I agree. There should be more to do. Uh, tap to book. Oh, shoot. Do we have to put an, an amiibo in? Oh, I forgot. Um, amiibo, load. Uh, crap. Uh, downloads. Uh, we'll put in you. Why the hell not? I don't know what just happened, but Lily's there now. I don't know what's going on. Uh, magic? <laughs> yes, we know Torm, okay. I get this is the story mode and all, but I really just want to show off this a little bit. Okay, so... This is pretty much uh, Bejeweled. If you play Bejeweled, you should be good. Um, however, I am really bad at this game. So, uh, yeah. Okay, well that just kind of worked out, huh? Crap. Um, go like that, 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 that. Oh crap, um, I'm doing this super wrong. Boop. Boop. And boop. Boop. I'm doing this completely wrong, I know I am. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Boop. Uh, why? Oh, I, okay, I see. That's like a power-up. I gotcha. Um, boop. Boop. Um, boop. Oh, crap. That didn't- okay, um... Crap. Crap, 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 crap. There we go, we win. Woo! That was spooky. Yeah, I'm really bad at this game. Um, but that's pretty much uh, how this works. Uh, we're gonna go back to the real world though, because we're about to end things up for tonight. So yeah, I just wanted to show that off. I think that's pretty cool, a neat little thing you can do. And I'm glad they put it in. We will be showing off the Wii U tomorrow, however, though. So uh, let's see. I'd like to make uh, more ordinances and rules, maybe bring the jail back. <laughs> um, and it may just be me, but I'd love to have to do paperwork. Oh no, not paperwork. What is this, football manager? The offer seems pretty useless. It doesn't seem useless. Bills seem more useless to me. It's like uh, Bejeweled meets Tetris. Pretty much, yeah. But no, don't, please don't bring in paperwork. I don't want to be playing... Um, Football manager, that sounds boring. Um, but you know, I agree. I think um, more ordinances would be great. Who knows, maybe they could put in communism, maybe. No, okay, I'm joking. Anyways, um, but uh, you know, I think uh, having more ordinances would be cool. Bringing back jail, that might be interesting. I don't know what they could do other than doing lost and found, but unless you, unless. If we play off the morals of uh, each uh, village's characteristics, right? Then um, maybe people that are grouchy or people that are mean-spirited might slip up and do something, um, like, hurt someone. Like, what if, like, if you were to hit someone with a bug net, that was, like, you can make that a, a law where you're not allowed to do that because you're the mayor, you can do whatever you want, you can be a dictator. Um... And if one of your villagers do that to you or something like that, boom, they get put in the slammer. <laughs> if they disobey your ordinance, they go to jail. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. Just enact uh, communism. And if they don't want it, they go to jail. <laughs> Talk about dictatorship, right? Either way, guys, let's end off tonight. We've done a lot. And, um, yeah, we've done quite a bit. Should be proud of that. So, I want to say 
thank you to all of you here in chat. Thank you to everyone who uh, not only followed, but also um, was chatting in the chat today. But a special thanks to everyone who chose to give up a little bit of your time just to be here with me. It means a whole heap to me. So uh, thank you a lot for that. For those of you on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Um, and thank you for your so uh, support and your comments. And uh, I hope you're all doing really well. Stay cheeky-breaky out there, everyone. Remember to keep on keeping on. Good night.